What's up, everybody? And today we're checking out the SU-57, Russia's stealth fighter, competing with the US F-22 and the F-35. This is what I thought my my last video I did. Where was it? Let me find it real quick. I thought this was the one that was supposed to be competing with the F-22, um, the MiG-31, but I was completely wrong. Completely wrong. And so we are doing a video on the SU-57, which is supposed to be their, um, their, their good plane at the end of the day, but we haven't seen much of it. Um, so let's watch it. Let's have some fun. Let's learn some stuff and let's figure out what's going on. Um, let's quickly read what the description says before I read it. It says, fighter jet. This is by Defense TV, by the way. If you want to watch it without me waffing over the top, you can do that in the description, okay? Uh, fighter jets are the backbone of the Air Force, celebrated for their expe exceptional speed, agility, and immense power. Despite ongoing efforts to develop the sixth-generation fighter, the skies are still ruled by fifth-generation fighter jets, with the Russian Sukhoi Su-57 being the standout example. The Su-57 is designed to be Russia's most formidable fighter ever built and is capable of competing with other fifth gen fighters like the f-22 raptor and the f-35 lightning II. this raises intriguing questions what are the capabilities of the su-57 that makes russia so confident to claim that it can compete with the f-22 and f-35 which are currently considered the world's top fighters again if you want to watch this without me waffling you can certainly do that in the description um don't forget to like comment subscribe we are so close to half a million guys we're going to have a party. It's going to be great. We're going to have some fun. We're going to play some video games. It's going to be an absolute blast. So be there. Subscribe if you're not already. Let's watch it. Let's have some fun. Let's turn subbies on and let's figure out what's going on with this aircraft. It's a nice looking aircraft. It's very nice. Fighter jets are the backbone of any Air Force celebrated for their exceptional speed, agility, and immense power. It's really big. It's a very Despite big aircraft. Despite ongoing efforts to develop sixth generation fighters, the skies are still ruled by fifth generation fighter jets, mm. with Russia's Sukhoi Su-57 being a standout example. The SU Let's just have a look at that there. So double engine. It's a really nice aircraft, isn't it? It's actually very nice. It's a very long aircraft. It's a very big one, isn't it? It's got some length to it. U-57 is designed to be Russia's most formidable <laughs> fighter ever built and is capable of competing with other fifth-generation fighters like the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II. Mm. Yeah, but can it actually do that, though? Can it actually compare to them? Um... Oh, my God, the F-35 is so nice. This raises an intriguing question. What are the capabilities of the Su-57 that make Russia so confident to claim that it can compete with the US F-22 and F-35? I have another question as well. Has it actually been used in combat? Are they using it in Ukraine right now? Are they using the F-35? Sorry, the Su-57? Which are currently considered the world's top fighters. Join us as we delve into this question to find the answers. It's a nice aircraft. The Sukhoi Su-57 Felon, a fifth-generation stealth fighter jet, is designed to excel in versatile combat scenarios, including land, air, and sea targets. Hmm. Developed by the Sukhoi Design Bureau, a division of the state-owned Rostec conglomerates United Aircraft Corporation. Interesting. This advanced aircraft took its maiden flight from the Gromov flight test. So it's government-owned stay owned that's very interesting considering how america does i mean america's capital is a capitalist country in it so obviously they're going to be private companies but it's just an interesting way and in i'm wondering if that prevents that competition that's all almost helps um american innovation with with capitalism you know institute's airport in october 2022 completing an efficient 56 minute mission okay As a fifth generation aircraft, the Su-57 boasts impressive capabilities, featuring advanced avionics, stealth technology, super cruise capability, and the versatility to carry a wide range of weapons for both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. It's pretty cool. 
But does it stack up is the question. Is it actually the as SC57 good? The SC57 achieves supersonic speeds while maintaining stealth and minimizing heat signatures thanks to its stealth technology and the use of composite materials like polymers, fiberglass, and aluminum honeycomb fillers. Hmm. The thing is with Russian aircraft, if we've we've seen this, haven't we, with the MiG-25, was it? The one that we thought was unreal and crazy fast that ended up just being kind of like a one-trick donkey. It could only do one thing. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so is this going to be the same thing again? Is it actually a legitimately really good fighter jet or is it just another, you know, bluff? Its advanced performance is powered by the Isdaleo 117 or AL41 F1 improved turbofan engines, with later versions set to use the new Isdaleo 30 engine. Hmm. It no has idea. a range of up to 2,200 miles at subsonic speeds and can reach Mach 2 without requiring afterburners. Interesting. It's fast. That's fast. In order to enhance maneuverability, the Su-57 employs 3D thrust vectoring nozzles and embodies key characteristics expected of fifth-generation aircraft, including quick takeoff capabilities, network connectivity, and adaptability for multiple roles. Interesting. So there is a few points there that are actually pretty good. Oh, let's look at this. Let me move my head out the way a little bit here. Um, you can see the um, length, the wingspan, the height, the wing area, the fuel capacity, and max takeoff weight. That's all well and good, but I'd, I'd have to look at that compared to, you know, the F-35 and the F-22 next to each other and really kind of get a figure on the size of the thing. Because if you look at the size of the person there, this is a legitimately big aircraft. This is much bigger than the F-35. Don't know if it's bigger than the F-22, but it's definitely bigger than the F-35. The Su-57 features a state-of-the-art avionics system that automates tasks and provides intelligent support to the crew. Okay. Its onboard electronics include an electronic co-pilot, a powerful onboard computer, and advanced internal weapon storage. Okay, and the weapons Note are stored the internally? The systems on board include an active electronically scanned array radar and electronic intelligence systems. Because if you remember, we, we took a look at that Korean aircraft where it had all the characteristics of a, of a stealthy fighter jet, but then they just put the weapons on the outside, um, which was bizarre in a way. Um, so I'm wondering what the deal is with this one, the internal, the weapons bays. In terms of armament, the Su-57 is armed with air-to-air -air missiles for long-range aerial combat and air-to-surface missiles for engaging ground targets. It is also equipped with 30mm air cannons for close-quarters combat. Okay. Its two sizable internal weapon compartments can each carry up to four... So it is inter internal weapons compartments, and there's two of them, and they can carry up to four... K-77M air-to-air missiles. Okay. okay. But there's more to it. But there's more. Suspense. Russian official media has reported that the Vimple NPO Design Bureau has developed the RVVMD2, a unique close range air. I need to learn more about these um, missiles because I, I literally, they could be tell, it could be saying any letters right now and I have no idea. Um, so I really need to be on board and figure out what, because it's all well and good being like, it can carry four or six or eight of these, but if I don't know what they are, then it doesn't. It's not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to compare it, am I? Air-to-air -air missile specifically designed for the Su-57 fighter aircraft. This new weapon has already earned the title of one of a kind. Interestingly, the article also claims that with this breakthrough, Russia has established a substantial five to ten year lead over the United States in the development of fifth generation air-to-air -air missiles. Yo, is that true? Wow. Currently, the Russian military is in the process of adopting these advanced weapons. That's interesting. That's very interesting. The RVVMD-2 represents an upgraded version of the short-range air-to-air missile RVVMD, and it is designed to engage a wide range of airborne threats, including fighters, attack planes, bombers, helicopters, and military transport aircraft. Interesting. Remarkably, it is capable of operating effectively, even in challenging electronic countermeasures environments. That is interesting. And I, I again, 
this all well and good me hearing that, but I can't compare that. Someone will have to let me know in the comments. People in the comments, by the way, some of your comments are fantastic. So don't forget to get down there and have a good old chat. This missile introduces advanced capabilities, including an inertial control system that enables it to autonomously navigate based on its previous position, significantly enhancing its accuracy during flight. Interesting. Very interesting. Furthermore, it incorporates a radio correction line, further improving its chances of successfully hitting an enemy aircraft by refining target coordinates. They've got it on the outside there, though, which reduces its stealth. Equipped with a dual-band infrared homing head with improved noise immunity, the RVV-MD2 can effectively engage targets from various angles, including those behind the launching aircraft. Hmm. While the RVV-MD2 holds the potential to augment the combat capabilities of the Su-57 fighter jet, specific details regarding its integration into the Su-57 fleet and the scale of its production remain undisclosed. So yeah, we... we from what I can gather with that is the the plane might be good, it might be not, whatever, right? Let's take that out of it. But if they've got a missile that is legitimately, like, fantastic, then all of a sudden they already have that little bit of a step extra, um, which is kind of worrying in a way. But, I mean, that's something that I'm going to have to learn when it comes to missiles and stuff. I just don't know that much about it. It's a nice-looking plane, isn't it? Kind of reminds me of a FA-18, like the front of it and how it kind of bubbles the cockpit a bit. Like the front part anyway, the back obviously not. After looking at this stealth fighter's impressive capabilities, considering the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine, it makes us curious. Has this advanced fighter already been deployed on the battlefield? That's what I'm wondering. Is it in Ukraine right now? When was this video made? Wait, wait, wait. When was this video made? Um, October 2023, so about five months ago. Reports six suggest months ago. that Su-57 fighter jets have been involved in the Russia-Ukraine conflict, as indicated by Russian sources and the UK Ministry of Defense. Interesting. So they are using them then. According to TASS, the deployment of Su-57 aircraft in Ukraine began approximately two to three weeks after the start of the Russian invasion mm. on February 24th. 2022. I wonder if any have been shot down because I've been hearing a lot of stories about Ukraine soldiers being able to do um, ground to air missiles and shoot some down from what I've heard. However, it's important to note that there is currently no definitive evidence to confirm the actual use of Su-57 units in Ukraine. Uh, and if they were used, the extent of their involvement remains uncertain. Okay, so we, we might not have even seen them. Okay. There were claims of a Su-57 being spotted in a video flying over Ukraine in March. However, the sighting remains unverified due to the video's poor quality. Hmm. Yes. Some observers have if if we haven't even like been able to see one properly, then we definitely have the death. They definitely haven't shot one down. Even suggested that the footage may depict a Su-24 with swept wings rather than a Su-57. Hmm. It's a nice looking aircraft. Despite the doubts surrounding the deployment of Su-57 in the Russian-Ukraine war, using the Su-57 in Ukraine would be a logical choice. Mm. The ongoing conflict provides an opportunity to assess the capabilities and weapon systems of this new fighter aircraft. It's a chance to validate its performance and determine if it can compete with the American-made F-22 and F-35. Or maybe they're just trying to keep the cards close to the chest. Maybe it is an uh, aircraft that has a few flaws and Russia don't want to expose them flaws anytime soon. Because uh, at the end of the day, if they had an aircraft that they were 100% confident in, right, and they're like, this thing's an absolute beast, they'd be using it 24-7, wouldn't they? Obviously, the supply and demand, though, depending on how many they've got. With its advanced features and the incorporation of the new missile, it would undoubtedly enhance Russian air power in the current conflict. Yeah. So why are we not seeing more of them, though? Do you think the Russian Su-57 can match the capabilities of the F-22 and F-35? 
Share your thoughts in the comment section below. All right. That's all for today. Thank good, you for watching. Good video. I'll leave it in the description if you want to go and watch it without me talking over it. Um, I have a few things. It looks really nice. It looks like a really nice aircraft. And statistically, it, it sounds like it's a pretty decent aircraft, right? Like, there doesn't seem to be any red flags. But there is. There is one red flag for me is that... Um, we're not seeing it used that much in Ukraine. Um, they might have had one bit of footage of it flying over, but we're not even sure. That, in my opinion, is a red flag because um, if it was as good as what they say it is, if it's as good as an F-22 and F-35, they'd be using it a lot in Ukraine. Um, but it seems like they're holding their cards close to their chest, which makes me believe that there's a few flaws with it still. I could be completely off the mark here, you can let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, but that's the vibe I'm getting from it. Let me know what you think. It's a nice aircraft. It's a big aircraft as well, isn't it? Uh, so yeah, let me know. I've got a video coming up soon as well with the SU-37. Uh, so stay tuned for that as well, guys. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We're nearly at half a million. We are so close. Where are we at? We are at nearly... 496,000. We're nearly there, guys. We're nearly there. Until next time, I love you all. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.